I don't, I don't really have visions of how something's going to sound. And it's interesting when I'm in the studio with Steve because he has a very definite soundscape in his mind of where he's going to try and get to. And I don't really have that. I've got a much more immediate feeling about the music where it, when I go into the studio, I'll have a feel that I want to try and get to. And I have to just be very impulsive and try the things that are in my head to get there. So, and I find it, you know, I remember being in the car with Steve and we were talking about Universe and You on the album. And he, we, he would, he would, he would, he drove everyone everywhere. I stayed in his, this is Steve Osborne, I stayed in his house. He did the engineering, he made the tea. He was, I mean, he was run ragged by the, it was on such a small budget that Steve had to kind of do everything. And then we were in the car and we were both exhausted and we were driving home from the studio in the snow. And he, he was driving along and he said, I know what I want. I, I know what I want with Universe and you. I said, what's that, Steve? And he said, well, and he's drunk. And he takes his hands off the wheel. He's like, I want it to sound like that. And I was like, like that? He goes, yeah. And then when it goes to chorus, it's got to go like that. And I went, okay hands back on the steering wheel and we'll we'll try and get that and I didn't have any idea what he was talking about and thought he was completely mad and I loved him for it because to work with someone like that who can project what it's how it's going to turn out was very exciting to watch <laughs>